Hi, this is Rick, and uh, this is a tutorial for playing Agnes Solitaire. Uh, I'm demonstrating on my website, agnessolitaire.com. Um, if you're familiar with Klondike Solitaire or you know the classic Solitaire card game like Microsoft Solitaire or any of the old ones that have been on the PC since the early 90s, uh, this should uh, be pretty easy to figure out. Uh, there are a couple differences. First of all, uh, as you can see up here by the six, the suit piles can start off with any random card. Uh, normally, the suit piles in a game of Klondike start off with an ace. Uh, there's no... You have to start them off with the aces. There's nothing actually in there. Uh, but this one will place the first card, and you have to follow suit with all of them. Now, it can be kind of easy to forget which one you started with, so I also, down here, put start card and then the number. Now, um, here, you could take this six and place it over there uh, in the suit pile. And you want to build this up, wrapping around from king to ace, until you get back to, like, one value lower than the one you started with. Now, this can start with, you know, anything. Uh, so if I hit new game over here, you'll see right here it starts with a two. So I would have to place a two as my first card, and then it auto uh, pulled the three over there. Uh, so, you know, you build it up um, from there, so you start out finding twos. Now, um, the other thing, another difference, is uh, in Klondike you deal, you know, one or three, depending on the version you play, cards into a waste pile, and you can only take the top one off. Now, in Agnes you deal out, you know, seven cards all the way across here, and you can grab any of these. So since I started off with two, I can't place another two that I can see in there, but I can start building these columns down. So I grab that seven, drag it over here. Now, just like in Klondike, you build alternating suits. So that part is not uh, difficult to figure out. And I can drag this guy over here because it's, you know, the red 10 going on a black jack. And I could put a, a red jack on a black queen. And I could take this guy over there too. And now I have a three. Now I started out with two, so I can't use that yet. Let's see. What else can I place? Okay, so I can place this 9. I can place this 10. And I'm going to just deal some more cards. I'm sure I could, you know, put a few more cards down here. Actually, I'll do that and that. And now I'm going to deal some more. Now notice, oh, we just had an autocomplete pull some cards over here, so I built that up to 6. Um... Now notice there are two cards on this particular pile, because I dealt one more onto each one. One was grabbed by the autocomplete and moved down to the spades. Yeah, to the spades. Uh, and, uh, you know, the ones that I didn't have any in just have one card, you know, in this top. So you, you can build up all of these as individual piles uh, with more than one card in them. Uh, the other thing is, is you can start... Uh, another pile down here where it's empty with any card you choose. You can just do that. Uh, just pull pull the cards into it. So you can really start it with anything. You know, but it, it actually usually helps to... It would have been better to start with an ace uh, because uh, an ace is one less than the two, which is the starting card that you had to start in each pile. Uh, so the ace would, would be the best thing to start a new pile with, but Kind of like in Free Cell, you can start it with anything. So I'll hit undo a couple times and just start it off with an ace. Uh, I don't have a black king to put on there. Um, but I can build a few of these up. A king wouldn't be bad in this case either because it's just one less than an ace. So it wouldn't be terrible for me to move that over there. Uh, got a red five. Let's see. I don't think I have a ton of... Well, I guess I can move these guys down here. Like that. Do I have a red 7? No. Actually, rather than take that 8, I'm going to grab this one, because that'll give me another free card. Oh, hey, freebie. All right, so then I'm going to deal more cards from this deck. They're all my aces. I am strangely not seeing my 2s yet. I don't see any kings either. So this is uh, less helpful than I would have hoped. I guess I could pull that over there. Still don't see any kings, so that ace is just kind of 
a pain and in the way. But I can grab that five. Still no red fours. Uh, seven there. Um, and I guess I'll just deal a couple more cards. Huh. All right. So, move the ace there. Oh, there we go. That's helpful. And move the black one. Uh, nine. I got an eight there. It does not look like I will be able to finish this one. Oh, actually, did I grab that? Yes, I did. So I'd rather take that black jack because uh, that makes things a little bit easier. Uh, although I'm still not seeing a road to victory here. But anyway, um, to win the game, you build up these four suit piles over here. In a traditional game of Klondike, your suit piles would be along the top, but you know we have to deal out seven piles, so they had to go along the top. It, it was kind of difficult to decide the best way to lay out Agnes, because Agnes is kind of, with, with all these piles, it was kind of difficult, actually. Uh, so this is what I came up with. Uh, I'm open to potential alternatives. If anyone has any ideas as to how I could have done this better, please uh, give me your suggestions on uh, on the page. Um, but anyway, this is what I got uh, in my quick tutorial. Hopefully it was understandable. Uh, if not, please feel free to ask questions on the homepage and uh, let me know. Thanks for playing.